You better not duck me, son. You better not duck me, son. early but while trolling the center of the ring and giving Ariola nowhere to go them off balance preventing Ariola from setting him up that was a good solid jab that one he looks nice and relaxed Wilder Ooh. no I can't work out what he's got in his mind at the moment good steps that didn't work out too well Good footwork, and he did try and land a combination. Wilder was long gone. 50 pounds might be changing hands coming out of that. Yeah, but it looks as though uh, Wilder again wants to chisel away at an opponent uh, that's supposed to try and blast them out of there. And that was better. That I it could get countered and it could be all over. Big weight advantage for Ariola, but just not able to make it count. And now Wilder starts to throw the bombs here in the last few seconds of the round. It only takes one punch, true, but at the moment, Ariola seems reluctant to even throw that one punch. We end, let the punches go. Threes or fours, let, that's it. Let, let the punches go as he moves forward. Trying to work the body here, Ariola. While they're covering up, but Ariola's decided, well, you know, plan A. Pain sustained pressure, he just doesn't have the level of fitness, never has. But he's taking his little breather and he's regrouping here and he's put himself in the danger. Oh, looking for that big right hand. Nice oh, hot. And he's yeah, shook in there, shot. there's a nice combination. Real sharp stuff, look at the speed of Wilderness. Like it's knocked some of the ambition out of Chris Ariola. And here he goes again inside the last few seconds of the third round, then of a brave effort before falling. Not been effective. Well, he's having another go here and trying to attack the head rather than just the body, and then and just so easy for Wilder, who then finishes off with an uppercut. Area. And they got the crowd on it on their feet. A good job, good solid job. Ariola coming in back for more. Wild continues just to taunt him and Ariola plodding forward, getting through with the right hand there, and then switching downstairs again. Wilder seemingly untroubled. And they're wild of dealing with them without a problem. A good shot to the yeah, top of the head. Trouble and down he goes. 25 seconds left in the round and Ariola down for the first time. A glance over to his corner to say I'm all right and he's got a chance of getting to the bell here. But Wilder ripped through him. And Jack Reese has given him a long, long time there to try and recover. Can Wilder get him out of there? Absolutely demolished him with the first right hand. Somehow Ariola is still upright and the bell is going to come any second now and it has saved Chris Ariola. How on earth did he stay on his feet? Though? And I'll be surprised if a minute is long enough for him to get his head cleared. Huge punches he took there. And now he stayed upright there. You saw that literally shudder through his body and then eventually he went down. When he did get up, he took another one of those right hands as well. This is the knockdown again. Now, but he showed a lot of courage there, Ariola. I mean, the punch that he took up. Quickest one yet. And Ariola doesn't seem to have an awful lot left. Wilder looking to measure him up with lefts. Keeping that vicious. That is vicious. And he's keeping the right hand. The legs of Ariola. But there's nothing in his punches. No, not at all. I was no, going to say he's gone through with a couple of right hands, but there were... Still we wait for Wilder to throw the right hand in this round. He's denying Wilder the room. The corner's instructor took the corner's instructions. Get in close. No. And in this round. Right hand, 
can't see it. Now oh, there, there's one. An uppercut ripping through in the last few seconds of the round. And now Wilder looks like he might be trying to go to work and, and rough him up. Yeah, he should have. Big right uppercut at the end of the last round. Well, that was the only power punch with the right hand in that previous round. Let's see if we see a bit more of it here. In round six. Well, so hopefully, no, no, he'll, he'll let the right hand go. He dropped the work rate, he just continued just to back off, working primarily with the left hand. Out what the other guy in behind it. Gariola first with the punch there. Saying that very often tonight. Mm, he just seems happy to invite him in, doesn't he? More of the uh, showboating there. Mm, Ariola continuing just to just pop away at the body while the. You can take charge, use the power. But yeah, it looks like he can just turn it on in bursts whenever he wants while it does. Settles back down. Again, if he's winning, he's controlling things, he's happy. Oh, good shot. Got him there again when he was all over the place, right on the bell. And that's up. I mean, this is. He's certainly got the jab working in this round. Oh, good stuff. And it's becoming a bit painful to watch. It's so one sided. Ariola is just taking a, a beating here. Nice. No, Totally dominant now and doing it with the one hand. Letting the right hand go then. It's been a painful night. Physically, we can see that, but psychologically as well, because he's just been taunted so often by Deontay Wilder. And Jack Reese, I think, is telling everybody that this one is over. Wilder. Celebrates another stoppage win because Harry has got power. Yes, he's, he's got speed. How would he do if it, uh, has elected to wave if it off wants to be a tough one? Winner by technical knockout, still undefeated, and still the WBC heavyweight champion of the world, the bronze bomber, Deontay Wilder. Well, John T. Wilder wins as expected now, 37-0, 36 wins.